Welcome to Lion's Life. Good morning, RCHS. I'm Hannah. I'm Susie. I'm Logan. And this edition of Lions Live starts right now. Any junior that is interested in the ICE program, which is school to work for next year, needs to pick up an application in the guidance office and return it to Mrs. Wainwright by next Monday. Deadlines are around the corner to apply for grant applications to the Rush County Community Foundation's Boy Scouts of America. The Rush County Parks Fund, Shane Young Memorial Soccer Fund, and the Youth and Philanthropy Fund. The applications are due Monday, March 2nd. Applications can be found at the RCCF office or at rushcountyfoundation.org. There will be a speech team practice this afternoon from 3.30 to 4.30. Auditions for next year's theater production class are right around the corner. In order to be able to add theater class into your schedule next year, current juniors, sophomores, and freshmen must fill out the application, including parent or guardian signature and two teacher references. Auditions to take the class will be held on January 31st. Pick up a form outside of room 158 in the main office or in the Learning Commons today. Are you interested in going behind the scenes of the yearbook? The RCHS publication staff is looking for current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors to join next year. Applications can be found in your email via a Google form. Applications must be turned in by this Friday, January 24th by 3.15 p.m. Today is a very special holiday for millions across, across the country. Here's a video with more. A young boy growing up in a time of segregation. A devout Baptist minister who sought to turn the other cheek. A dreamer moved by destiny into leadership of the modern civil rights movement. This was Martin Luther King, Jr. Dr. King combated segregation and racism still prevalent in America in the mid 20th century, insisting always on nonviolent methods to achieve his goals. He soon became a national icon of progressive American ideals. In Washington, D.C., on the National Mall, the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial is a fitting tribute to Dr. King's leadership in the civil rights movement. Dr. King's drive to move America toward the ideals of freedom and equality culminated in the 1963 March on Washington. From the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, Dr. King imagined an end to racial inequality in his I Have a Dream speech, a speech held as one of the greatest pieces of American oratory ever to be spoken. I have a dream, he said, that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Heavily influenced by Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation and Thomas Jefferson's declaration that all men were created equal, Martin Luther King Jr. gave the nation a vision for unparalleled liberty and equality. The design of the monument is taken from Dr. King's very words, out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. To visit this monument means to literally pass through the mountain of despair on the way to the stone of hope, where Martin Luther King Jr. stands as a beacon. Nearby, excerpts from his sermons and speeches are featured on the 450-foot inscription wall. At the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site in Atlanta, Georgia, you can visit the home of his birth and where he played as a child. You can walk in his footsteps and hear his voice in the church where he moved hearts and minds. You can marvel at how he was an instrument for social change, and you can visit the tomb where this great man was laid to rest. On April 4, 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated but his immortal words have carried on.
Today's lunch includes chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, green beans, cucumbers with dip, fruit, and milk. The soup of the day is taco. Will it continue to get colder out? Here's your building meteorologist, Nicole, with more. Good morning, RCHS. It's Nicole here with your weather. It's currently 17 degrees outside with a high of 30. Looking on to the rest of the week, you expect temperatures in the 30s and 40s. That's it for weather. Now back to sports. The Lane Lions basketball team were, were victorious over the Pentagon ladies. On Saturday, the Lane Lions came away with a win of 60 to 56 Saturday, senior day, and the Lane Lions had all four seniors. In the start, uh, start line of seniors, Troy Campbell led away with a double, double on senior day. Senior Courtney Ash had nine points, while senior Isabella Renabon had eight points, and senior Maddie Turner had five points. The Rush for Alliance West in place fourth at the EIEC tournament. Marcus Moser led the Lions with a first place finish at 170 pounds. Nick Gore has the one up at 182, Tough Tackett, Matt Bertram, Braden Hunter, and Adam Bowsman all placed third in the race class. Lord Joya placed fourth, and Connor Irvin, Dylan Galusha, and Austin Garrion placed fifth. Matthew Cormick was sixth. The Lions rest in Shelbyville on Thursday at six. Sports chats of the night include the gymnastics team is in action tonight at home against Newcastle with a start time at six. That's all for me. That's all for this one. Have a great day, I suggest. Yeah.